Hello guys and welcome back. This is round three. Uh, we are one on one in the Legacy Mox tournament. Uh, you won the die roll. We're gonna go first, and uh, I think we have a pretty good hand here. Uh, we don't have a second colored mana source, but we have two one drop discard spells, plus some removal. Uh, we are missing some threats, but you know we got pretty good disruption here. So let's lead off here. I think I want to lead off with either a Thoughtseize or Inquisition. I think we're gonna lead off with the Inquisition here. Just to see if there's more targets. And it looks like we're playing against a combo deck. And it's pretty clear it's high tie. Uh, I think the card we're going to be getting here is the Merchant Scroll. So you can get the high tie here. Uh, we could follow this up with another Thoughtseize next turn. And then hopefully we could uh, follow it up with a turn 3 Liliana and start really uh, uh, damaging his hand. Unfortunately, the Rub Decay and the Lightning Bolts are pretty much dead cards in our hand. Uh, we really can't do much with it, so uh, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Okay, he plays an island. He's kind of going into the tank a little bit. Uh, it's a combo deck. It's very uninteractive. Okay, he preordains. One of the unfortunate parts about playing Jund is that we're very weak against the unfair decks. We're supposed to have an advantage over the fair decks, the decks that try to, like, you know, play a game of magic against us. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're pretty much huge dogs against combo decks uh drew a colored source but it's not the color source we want we got a mountain here so we're just gonna fire off thoughtsies here and let's see what he got okay so time star brainstorm turnabout candelabra and two islands he put two cards on top of the preordain i think i want to get the brainstorm here he has no shuffle effects so unless, like, the second card you put on top of the Preordain is, like, a High Tide or a Merchant Scroll or something like that, I don't think he could combo off and kill us. And uh, since he has no Shuffle Effects again any anymore, and if we take the Brainstorm, he's not going to be able to dig. I think we should be able to kill him or get, like, Liliana online and start, like, destroying his hand before he could combo off. But the risk is that if he has, like, a High Tide or a Merchant Scroll as the second card there, we're, we're pretty much going to lose. And, uh, yeah, uh, we took the Brainstorm. Hopefully we'll top deck either a threat or black source. Any of the above. And I think we're just going to lightning bolt at the end of turn two. Jeez. Oh, All right, Merchant Scroll. Uh, I think he's going to get the high tide here. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Bolt uh, him, 17. We need black. Ugh. Okay. Play the Wasteland. No reason not to. Gonna play the confidant here and let's see if he could kill us or not. Alright, looks like our opponent's gonna be comboing off. We'll give him the cool story bro face here and uh <laughs> and we'll just sit back, relax, and try to enjoy this. I guess. Our opponent's gonna be doing some cool, cool things, bro. Cool, cool things, bro.
Okay. Uh, our opponent stopped masturbating in front of us, and we lost. So we're going to bring in some sideboard cards. The him against combo, two power blasts. Uh, I'm going to bring in the Pithy Needle, just to name uh, Candelabra, just because all of our cards are pretty bad. I'm going to bring in the Mind Break Traps and the Extra Pay too. I don't know how good Extra Pay is, but uh, my friend Dennis, who loaned me the majority of these Legacy cards, told me that uh, against High Tide, he fears Hand Disruption and Extra Pay. So we're going to, we're going to roll with it. Uh, taking out the GTA seems pretty miserable in this matchup. I'm going to take out a Liliana because... I think it's a little too slow. The bolts don't really do anything. It helps in the race and everything, but uh, I want to be I want to be a little fast here. Uh, the Sylvan Library is going to just draw us a lot of cards here. I think I want to get rid of some of the higher drops here. To be honest with you, um, we don't really interact with combo very well at all. So, <sighs> yep, I think this is it. I think this is it. Okay, we're going to choose to go first, and all right, it's a pretty good hand here. Uh, we have Confidant, Thoughtseize, and Deathrite Shaman. We have Disruption, some Threats, and uh, Card Filtering, so Card Drawing. So I think this is a keep. Uh, great. <laughs> uh, leads off with a Ley Line, which makes our Thoughtseize pretty terrible, but we could still do a turn to Liliana, start getting cards that way. And uh, we're going to be cracking the fetch, of course. Uh, probably going to get the black green line there and play Liliana. Or we could get the red green for the blood braid. Uh, yeah, blood braid it is. Uh, so we could fire off a dark confidant or a sylvan library next turn. I'll get more juice in our hands. This thought sees is dead. We do have the Miser's Maelstrom Pulse to get rid of the Lane of Sanctity, but yeah, it, it might not come down to it. The really bad thing about this situation here is that our opponent really doesn't need much to uh, combo off and win. He just needs three lands, a high tide, turn about into time spiral. And and that's all that's all he needs. Okay, this is a this is a this is a terrible terrible sign. In merchant scrolling, turn two. I would have to imagine it has to be a high tide he's getting. Uh, and since he only needs three cards to combo off and kills us, I don't think Liliana is going to be enough of a disruption. Oh, he gets a meditate here. Okay, that's that's pretty awesome here. All right. Uh, yep, let's fire off a plus one here. And I think we have a choice between Sylvan Library, Dark Confidant, and the Death Rite Shot. Okay, I think we're going to go with the Sylvan Library here. It digs deeper, draws us more cards, and we're going to get in the Beats in for one. Okay. Um, Meditate's actually pretty good for us because it's only going to net him two cards since we have a Liliana in play. Uh, he's going to give us an extra tar extra card with the Meditate. Extra turn, excuse me, with the Meditate. So we could Meditate, uh, plus one Liliana, plus one Liliana. So he's going to have two cards. It's still card advantage, but we're going to be doing a lot of damage to him as well. So it's pretty good. All right, let's get some juice here. All right. I think we're going to keep all of them in our hand. Mm, or we could actually keep one of them in our hand. And uh, blood braid one away with the uh, with the cascade, but there's really no need. He's not gonna kill us through damage. Like if he goes like EOT, and the and click start attacking us, that would catch us by complete surprise. Uh, yep, we're gonna just discard the badlands here, so we could blood braid. Hopefully into more disruption. And we 
we get another Liliana. Okay, that's awkward. We are not casting it. I think that's one of the few ways that we could really punt this game. He has two cards left in his hand. And uh, we're going to bring in the beats. All right. Uh, he didn't get a high tide there. He discarded a high tide. So I, I really don't know what my opponent's doing here. Um, all right. Getting more lands. Sylvan Library. Work its magic. Oh, this is sweet. Uh, I think we're going to keep the Blood Bread here. I think we're going to be paying the 4 life to keep the him so we don't cascade into it. Um, I don't think we really need the Vernon Catacomb at this time. So I think the play here is to put the Vernon Catacomb on top. To pay the four life for the him to Torok. And uh, Blood Braid into something new. Hopefully something that could do a little damage. The reason why we didn't pay the 4 life to keep the Verdant Catacomb in our hand is that I want more business spells and uh, we're going to cascade away the Verdant Catacombs. We're going to see new cards and uh, hopefully one of the new cards could be more business for us. Alright. Maelstrom Pulse would be really sweet here. Or Deathrite Shaman. I think that's a really good one because I think that puts him in a 2 turn clock. Yeah. Bring him down to six, nine, and the next turn he has to win, or we, or we win. And the meditate turns out to be a dead draw. Okay, so that was a mistake there. Uh, we should have plus one there. Uh, we know one of the three cards left in his hand is a meditate. If he didn't know about us cascading into a blood braid here, here he could have potentially kept the meditate, and he can't play meditate here because giving us an extra turn actually kills him. So we should have plus one the Liliana before we cast our spell. Uh, so he could potentially keep the Meditate. Because the Meditate would be a dead card anyway. Yeah, that, that was a little bit of a mistake. Alright, I'm going to plus one here. Get rid of the him, that's useless. I'm pretty sure he's getting rid of the Meditate. Bring him down to nine. Cunning Wish. Uh oh. Okay, so he's gonna have three cards to potentially gonna get a turnabout. So if he has a high tide, you know he has a turn uh turnabout, and if he pops like a time spiral or something like that, then he could potentially go off and kill us. Let's hope that doesn't happen. So, no high tide, please. Only bad things could happen when he high tides. Alright, we've got a wasteland and a mind break trap. Okay, so there's really no way you could combo kill us here. Uh, put those two lands back. I guess he's going to be... Yeah, I... Don't know what he's doing here. I mean, he got the turnabout, but doesn't even have four mana, so he needs like high tide turnabout. Uh, that's that's miserable. Okay, we won. Cool. Uh, did we see anything to change our cyborg plan? I think Liliana is going to be good here because he showed us lane of sanctity, and he, we need ways to attack his hand. And uh, yeah, that taking away the Maelstrom Pulse is a mistake. Uh, I thought since he was a mono blue deck that he wouldn't run Layla and Sanctity, but I guess if he's going to mull into it, then uh, we do need the Miser's Maelstrom Pulse here to get rid of it to attack his hand further. Uh, yeah, I don't like the bolts. Hopefully, we could do enough damage without the bolts to uh, kill him. Uh, 
And we need to get rid of one more card. I'm going to get rid of some hand disruption as a hedge against his ley line of sanctity. All right, let's rock this. And, okay, uh, it's a little light on threats, but we got the Sylvan to draw us into more gas. We have a Pyroblast and Mindbreak Trap to uh, prevent him from comboing and killing us. Uh, we're going to be in the draw, but I think this is a key. Uh, let's see if he, he fires off a turn zero lane on a Sanctity, or maybe even mulls into it. Oh, he's mulling once. And, okay, he's taking his time, so I guess this hand can't be spectacular. Maybe it's a mediocre hand, he's thinking about, like, mulling into a five-card hand or lower with Leyland of Sanctity. But like, the danger of mulling if you're a combo deck into a Leyland of Sanctity to protect you is that you, you, you're letting the other deck like get a free discard spell anyway. So like I got a free him to Torak in already. And he didn't start the game off with a Leyland. Ah, oh, him to Torak. Oh, that's that's delicious. Uh, all right, let's get a Black Source in here. And Death Rite. So we could Death Rite him him. And if he has like a Brainstorm or a Counter Spell, we could Power Blast him and get him. Uh, this is this is how we beat combo decks here. <laughs> All right, preordain, pretty sweet. Let's see what he did with it. Hopefully he puts like top bottom so he gets the card that he wants in his hand and we have a chance to rip it apart with uh, him to Torak. Okay, uh, sure. I don't think anything changes here. Gonna get a second black source. And we're gonna Rip apart his hand with the hem. Half a hand for you, sir. Brainstorm. Okay, we're going to Power Blast that. We already have a Mind Break Trap backup in order to prevent him from comboing. And I don't want him to uh, protect the two best cards in his hand on top of his library. So we're just going to Power Blast that. And since he had four before the Brainstorm, and he cast Brainstorm with that, he's going to be left with one card in his hand. And again, we don't have much threats on board, but it's really hard for High Tide to win with one card. And unless we get like a Blood Braid Elf or Goyf or something like that, I think we're going to be doing a Sylvan Library. Actually, if we get a Goyf, we could do both. We need to get the beats in. Okay, Blood Braid. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I can't get cute here and go for the Sylvan to go for the card advantage. I think I just have to go for the Blood Braid here and... and, and with the beats i do have to respect him he is a combo deck he really just needs three cards in his hand to uh go off and kill us even though we do have a mind break trap extra pay <laughs> that's delicious <laughs> we're gonna get his high tide so he has two cards and he's no longer has access to high tides in his hand so i don't think he's gonna be uh living okay concession cool three and one we'll see you for next round bye-bye